Hi guys, it's Victor from Web Automation. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to scrape data from TripAdvisor for restaurants uh, globally. Um, I've got TripAdvisor opened here. Uh, I can see we've got um, some restaurants. And in this particular use case, I want to get the emails and phone numbers from particular restaurants um, wherever in the world, uh, in this particular instance, London but you can do a search wherever. So I'll head over to Web Automation. This is the landing page. Um, to do this particular, follow to follow the video, you would need to be signed in. So you can sign up for a free trial account, uh, sign up, activate your account, and then head back to the homepage and you can follow the video. So what you need to do is head over to the marketplace so now the marketplace is a library of pre-made web scrapers and there are literally hundreds of web scrapers you can choose from, but we're interested in TripAdvisor. So we're going to search for TripAdvisor and you can see we have a few TripAdvisor web scrapers, but for this particular exercise, we want restaurants. So I'm going to click on TripAdvisor scraper for restaurants. Okay, uh, so it takes us to this page and then we can see some things. We can see what information we're going to get from TripAdvisor. You can see the name, address, email, phone number, um, et cetera. Uh, we can even see a snapshot of the, of the data that we're going to get um, just to get a feel for it. But let's dive in. So go straight in and hit the button use for free. This will take you into uh, the landing page inside the web automation app you need to activate your account. Good. Once you're in there now, um, so the couple of things you need to do first. Uh, first of all, you need to head over to the overview section and then you need to add in whichever region you are in. If TripAdvisor has got, so for example, if you want to just a tripadvisor.com, you can just add it in there and just to make sure it covers all the specific domains. And the next thing you need to do is add in your starter link. So I'm gonna head back into TripAdvisor. Uh, I've already made a filter for restaurants that do breakfast, uh, cakes, um, special occasions in Mayfair, London. And I've got 20 restaurants. So I'm gonna copy the link. I'm gonna head back into Web Automation and replace this link and then update. Once I've updated, now all I need to do is click the big run now button. And there we go. That's our magic moment. And we can start getting some data. So this is gonna run, it's not a lot of data, so it should only take a few minutes. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video now and then come back and then we can have a look at what data we got back. Okay, uh, so it's completed now and we scraped a lot of information from TripAdvisor. So let's have a look and see what the data looks like. So we can download and we can choose whichever formats we want, um, CSV, XML, XLS, JSON or JSON line. I'm going to choose XL XLS because I have my Excel open. And for the magic moments, let's save to local and have a look at the information. So there we go, that's the information over here. And voila, so we can see uh, the names of the place, addresses, email if available. Um, and we can see there are a few emails available in here as well. We've got the image, uh, we've even got the phone numbers as well. And we've got the ratings and review count and the website URL. So this is fantastic data. Uh, we can use this data if we wanted to do a lead gen um, campaign or, or get some information about the ratings and reviews of different restaurants. Um, so I've shown you very quickly and easily with just a few clicks, how you can get um, valuable contact information about restaurants anywhere in the world. I've done for London in this particular example, but you can try this for Italy, um, Brazil, any country in the world. 
Uh, so thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments, uh, please uh, drop any questions or comments in the, in the comments below. Um, otherwise, I uh, will see you at the next video.